Hey Sasquatch, we're gonna be quelling Lilligant. Apparently Lilligant is frenzied. What will happen in today's video? Let's just find out. All right, we're gonna head out this way and see what's up with Lilligant. The girl who was sent out must have been eating some of Benny's potato mochi. I could still smell them on her. That reminds me, I've seen Mistress Caliba riding around on that Ursaluna she serves. I wonder if Ursaluna uses his sense of smell to suss out where treasure might be. Ursaluna now knows Erzu sent. Follow the blue signals to find her. Okay, so we have to use Ursula Luna to find where we need to go, it seems. That was looking pretty intense. I think, whoa, okay. That was just a candy truffle. So blue, I do see this up here though. Sweet. Ooh, there's a rye horn. This is probably a bad matchup. I do kind of want to try to catch this. It's interesting that Stealth Rock does damage in this game. But it makes sense, because what else would it really do? I'm gonna try to catch this. Oh yeah, there's like this whole little town, it looks like. Yeah, I've never even been here. All right, let's see what's up. You're from the Galaxy team, aren't you? Do you know of a medicine that can cure headaches? I need it for my Psyduck. I live together with these little ones and I can tell they've been suffering terribly. I wish I could do something to help, but none of the medicines I've tried have worked at all. There are so many people in the galaxy team. Surely you must have some sort of healer. Please, could you ask them for, for some medicine? Okay, all right, yeah, we'll get more north. Wait a second, is this a mass breakout? I'm gonna go see if there's a shiny in there at all. I mean, there's obviously that. So it's Carnivine, I'm guessing? Um, doesn't look like these are shinies. Wait, what just happened? Wait, what? Wait, it just changes randomly? Wait, what the fuck? What is this? I don't have space for this. Oh my god. Oh shit, this is insane. I am not healed up enough to engage in this. That was my first time seeing that. Oh my gosh, there's an Eevee. Oh wait, it just changed to something else. I mean, technically I should catch some of these, right? I mean, to think I don't have any room in my satchel for some of this stuff. Here, what, this is what I'm gonna do. Let me try to craft some stuff real quick. Let's see. Let's craft, make some revives. Going to heal up my Pokemon a bit as well. Your sleeve has been knocked out for far too long. Heal up everyone else. Munchlax, be thick, yo. All right, we're gonna try to Come back. I accidentally threw a berry. I didn't mean to do that. All right, I think I might be able to sneak up on this. All right, we have to fight it now. The Drifblim is looking around. Okay, we're gonna take this as a chance to kill that Drifblim. Oops, I accidentally select low bunny though. Ouch. Poor little guy. Didn't last long out there. <laughs> Holy! I mean, we're just gonna get completely destroyed by most of these Pokemon. Munchlax is actually not a terrible option here. Might as well just, like, knock out Drifflin here. I should have just gone for the low bunny. It was actually the bigger threat, obviously, right? Game changing. <laughs> we are getting wrecked. I should have definitely killed the low bunny. Low bunny. Alright, let's just knock it out. Strong style. Let me see how much more I have to do on these quests, because I might be able to evolve these. I don't even remember what I need to do for them. Cyndaquil. Yeah, I still got to do the strong style and agile moves. It's pretty much the main thing I got to do with Cyndaquil still. Geodude. Just gonna use Bite. Alright, um... Wait, where's the Geodude? Number defeated. Rollout is the one I got to use for this one. Alright. Oh my god, dude. I don't have space for this. This is so intense. These are just not easy spawns to really deal with because they're very strong. So even though it's like very tempting to want to catch all of them and get the dex entries, that's a little difficult. But yeah, I know what you mean. Like there's definitely some that I've like kind of just run past and I haven't like completely tried to complete the decks just yet. But I think it's kind of fun too is that we can kind of come back and probably focus more on that. I see there's like a satchel up here. It should be like right behind us somewhere. There we go. Yeah, I think that warp zone actually did disappear. I want to see if there's any females here. I need to be sneaker. Okay, that's definitely running. You know what? I just feel like I want to like get through the storyline first. Like I feel like we could always grind the Pokedex stuff more 
focused after we complete the main story quest stuff. Unless there are segments where we just can't progress without, then obviously we should probably like do a mixture of both. Can they see me when I hide like this? Holy. <laughs> I died. Oh my gosh, that was the first time. I feel like I could just kind of let that happen. Aw. <laughs> the pain I just felt. That was the first time I blacked out in this game. I want to remember it. I mean, that was a little silly how I died. It just felt, that was careless the way I died there. But I mean, that's also kind of cool. Right, I'm just going to head back up the hill. Whoa. There's a licky licky. I should use the heavy ball. Nice. I like how I didn't even react. Like a tongue or like, is it really this unaware? Right, sweet. Ooh. I bet you the routes are gonna be tricky. It tells you the gender too. I never, and I wasn't paying attention before. Oh, there's a curly over there. Let's see if he'll fight us or if he'll just run. Yeah. I need to be sneakier there. Oh, shit. <laughs> I accidentally wasted a ball. Watch this chat. <laughs> Come on. Nice. That's pretty sick. Wait, look at this keystone. Is this the keystone? For the spirit team? It looks like spirit team. All right, let me go this way. Alright, let's see if we can catch this. Are you joking me? Alright, we're gonna just try to damage it again. Alright, I'm just gonna throw a heavy ball. I think we'll catch it. I wonder if this will kill. I don't want it to kill. Wow, that was super clutch. All right, I think we can like keep forgetting I have to hit the ZR button to do this. Here, we're gonna take a moment to try to catch some of these. I like how it just doesn't notice me. Sick. Let's see if we get this Bonsley. Nice. Right, I'm just gonna follow this. I'm gonna, oh my God, am I gonna die? <laughs> what a nightmare. Yeah, that would definitely not feel good. So I need to follow the blue. I think this is the thing. This is such a new feature to me that I haven't been able to to notice that the blue is probably just unique to this quest, you know? Like, I think that's literally all I had to be doing this whole time is following the blue. Oh wait! Osas, how did it go with Ursaluna? I calmed him down. Wow, you really are strong, but how do you find me all the way down out here? From the potato mochi. Man, I wish I could eat some of those right now. Jubilee Village sure was a lot of fun. My luck's run out though, as you can most likely tell. I got chased by a Pokemon and sprained my ankle pretty bad as I was running. Ankle pretty bad. It's almost like the world wants to punish me. Ah, uh, there you are, Arzu, right? Eek! Mr. Scalaba, uh, I didn't. I owe you an apology. I treated you with disrespect, thinking you were just some whelp from the Diamond Clan. I'm sorry for that. I should have treated you better. Huh? Wait, but it's not your fault that Lilligant became friendly, nor that my Ursa Luna was so enraged. You were trying to help them both, weren't you? I didn't even have the courtesy to listen to you. You'd think someone who's lived as long as I would be more patient. It's okay, I didn't do a good job explaining myself either. Ursa Luna only started acting weird after he got too close to Lilligant and 
smelled her perfume. She was already frenzied by that point, so I'm sure that's what caused it. Ala explains that the strange powder I found on Earth's Luna. It must have been powder from Lilligan. But what happened to your leg, dear? I was gathering ingredients to make bombs, but I fell and sprained my ankle. See, the reason I went to Jubilee Life was to get help for Earth's Luna and also learn about crafting. But while I was there, I bumped into Professor Laventon and he told me about the bombs you used to quell Cleaver. So I thought I'd make some for Lilligan using her favorite foods. You galaxy people know all sorts of things. I'd like to learn even more from you, really. Well, then we'd better take care of our lady and get this mess resolved first. Adamant, what were you thinking doing all this yourself? Did you think I couldn't help you? Though no one would blame you for thinking so. Not much of a leader, am I? I've never even seen Almighty Sinner with my own eyes. And I failed to imagine that Lilligant might have become frenzied too. Listen up, Sass. I'll take the bombs that Arizu made and meet you at Brava Arena. Don't you worry, Arizu. Sass will calm Lilligan and that will be that. Things should settle down. Head to Bravara Arena, Sass. That's where Lilligan's seat lies. Arizu will be taken care of, my dear Bibriel, and I will make sure she reaches her lady. Alright, so they're gonna take care of that. Alright, I've been getting wrecked. I died twice in this little area. Which, you know, is pretty sick, actually, if you ask me. Like, Alright, let me um go to the diamond settlement. Well, we kind of know where we need to go, so maybe let's just head that direction. There's the marker. I'm just dodging past all this stuff for now. So you've come. I take it that means you're ready. Of course. Lady Lilligan's a sight to see, even in her frenzy. Behold her and be grateful. I hope we didn't keep you waiting. All it took was one of my poultices to get Arzu's leg all patched up. Calaba, ma'am. I'm deeply sorry we've had to lean on your help so much, especially as we're from different clans. Arzu tried to solve the whole situation herself. I dare say she bit off more than she could chew and cause some trouble, but her heart was in the right place. Listen, the Lady of the Ridge, Lilligan, is like a dancer, always in motion, always darting around. You'll want to watch her real close and learn to dodge her moves. That's right, if you keep on dodging, she might get tired out, and that'll be your opening. That's when you can bring out your own Pokemon and prove your might. Don't let me down. We'll see how this goes, yo. Are you ready, chat, for Lilligan? This is the Hisuian one, too. Oh, snap. That was a cool intro. All right, sick. Let's see. Oh, okay. I need to dodge out of that. I'm just trying to get used to like what its mechanics are. Oh, okay. Interesting enough, I think even if you're in the range of the attack, it's like if you dodge at a certain time, you actually don't get take damage. See. Ah, that was a little wrong. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. Uh, I have to go the opposite way probably for that. Yeah, like that. I went the wrong way. Okay. okay. It's actually kind of a good boss fight because it does a good job at like introducing you to the different mechanics. Fuck, I messed up. Okay, I still got it. I bet you there's one last thing it's gonna do here. Fuck.
about to get it here. Got it. Alright, sick. Nice. That's kind of fun, though. I'm just a pro gamer, so... <laughs> Nice. I mean, I just jump off cliffs and die. That's how I die. I don't die at boss but fights. <laughs> All right, let's see what's going on here. You re received the meadow plate from Lilligant. All right, sweet. We got another plate for our boy Arceus or uh, for Sinnoh, Lord Sinnoh, excuse me. Hey, thank you. You didn't just save Lilligant. You saved Arzu as well. I appreciate it. First Ursaluna and now Lilligant. You're amazing. You know that? Being all frenzied didn't suit Lilligant one bit. I'm so happy she's back to her graceful self. <laughs> Aw. Arzu, you still owe someone an apology. Huh? Oh, don't worry about it. A young one like her is bound to get caught up in some trouble from time to time. Remember, what's written in the solo CN ruins? All lives touch other lives to create something anew in life. There's wisdom in those words. I imagine they're the teaching of Almighty Sinnoh itself. Of course. I'd completely forgotten about them until certain somebody helped me remember. We owe you we owe you one, ma'am. Don't try to solve everything by yourself, Arzu. You're a warden. Of all people, we should know how to stand in solidarity with each other. It's our job to stand side by side with Pokemon after all. Yes, I know. I'm sorry. Well, I can hardly start yelling at you now after Calaba wrapped up all that so nicely. Just one more thing, Arzu. I know you were trying to do what you thought was right, and I approve of that. But from now on, do it without keeping things from me. Agreed? Other than that, no need to change a thing. Except maybe to put in some training. If anything else happens to Lilligan, I need you ready to protect her like the warden you are. I understand. Let's work together from now on to keep the Mirrorland safe. Arzu. I'll be sure to inform Arita that both the Diamond Clan and Galaxy Team helped save Ursula Luna. You did well, Sass. All our different groups finally joined hands to work together today. I admit, it was a fun day for me, but now it's about time I'd be on my way. Listen, you know me. I'm Adaman, leader of the Diamond Clan, and I worship Almighty Sinnoh, the ruler of time. Time is all about change, and we can't live in fear of that. We can only try to help the time we live and change for the better. Something tells me helping you folks out will help me do that. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you for everything, Sass. I think I'll stay and talk to Lilligant for a while. What happened, Lilligant? How did a kind-hearted Pokemon like you end up all frenzied, huh? Though it's not like... I'm perfect. I hid things and lied and couldn't even keep you safe. I'm real sorry about everything. <laughs> Lady! Just like slices her head off like, it's all good. I'm the ruler now. I roll these parts. Alright ladies and gentlemen, we helped save Lil again. If you enjoyed this video, consider liking, commenting, subscribing. It really helps my video reach a wider audience here on YouTube. And with that being said, the Sass Squad is getting stronger each and every day. Have a good morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you're tuning in. I will catch you in the next one.